Spun code. 2004 CRV. I've had this thing in here. Uh, keeps coming back on me. It must be in love with me. Um, this thing's got a camshaft actuator problem. Um, it's not quite uncommon. First thing you want to do, I, I don't even bother testing these. I take them out and make sure they're not all gumped up with oil. Check the oil. It's a little low, but it's good enough. It should be producing enough oil pressure to make it work. So I'm just, I'm just going to take this thing out and I'm going to inspect it and make sure it's, it's not all gummed up with carbon deposits and stuff coked up. It's all coked up, man. I'm going to see, make sure it's clean. And if it's clean, I'm just going to replace it. Sometimes it pulls this code because it'll it'll try to it'll try to open up the valve and and there's no oil pressure flow going into it to make anything work. So it could be plugged or it could be bad. Let's see what happens. It's in the back of the engine behind the uh, next to the exhaust manifold. A little wiry clip here. I'm gonna just pop that out with a needle nose. And then there's uh there's two sensors for this. I'm gonna unplug those. Somebody's stealing my car. Yeah, I was leaning up against my car fob. There's an oil pressure switch underneath that I could unplug it. I might as well, right? There. Yeah, now I can get these wires out of the way. There's three bolts on the back. Um, if you're if 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 you do a lot of mechanical work like I do, you're gonna want to make sure you got a nice fresh 10 millimeter that's not all wore out because these are really tight. And uh, don't use a six point or don't use a 12 point. Use a six point because. Um, these get a little rusty and they're really tight and they, they can strip out pretty easy. So make sure they're on there nice and square. Ugh. Now I tell you what, them suckers are tight. Alright, I got them all loose. They didn't strip out thankfully enough. I've had that happen. And when that happens, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get a better socket. Get a better socket and pray a little. I'm gonna put a drain pan under there too because it should drip some oil out of here. Just take a guess where that's supposed to go. One, two, three. Okay, they're all out, so it should fall out just like magic. I said it should fall out just like magic. Okay, maybe not. Uh, oh, I got another funky clippy thing back there too. Oh, I missed one. See that? There's another funky clippy thing. I can get that with a needle nose. Mm, I think. Oh yeah. Oh, pretty good aim. That fell right in my drain bucket. Okay, now here's the screen I was referring to. I'm just going to peel that off. And um, it's cruddied up pretty good. But it's not completely plugged. I can, I can still see daylight through it, so it's, it's still okay. There's a little bit of coking in there. A little bit of coke. So it's good enough. I'm going to get a solenoid for this. I'm going to get in here with a razor blade and just give it a quick scrape just to get all the deposits off of here. I really don't need to because it's really clean. I just want to make sure that should be good. Run my finger around here. Yeah, real nice. The new one's already got the screen and the and the gasket on it. So you don't you don't need to put anything on this either. You just stick it on, it seals really nice. I put the bolts in first. 
Now if you're wondering what happens or what, what this thing does, um, you got you got two plugs on here. One's for a solenoid and the other's for a sensor. And what it does is it is it when when VTEC wants to activate, it activates the solenoid and it puts oil pressure up into your head. And there's um there's a series of, of rocker arms that have that have pins on them. And when the oil pressure hits them pins, the pins lock into the other rocker arms that are already being used. And it utilizes a different camshaft lobe. And it gives you more lift and duration in a higher overlap. So you get more power at higher RPMs. And when you get lower RPMs, it, it turns off. And what happens is, is, is like... Like like this girl, she she went down the freeway and she got on the gas. She was probably racing her her, her little CRV, and uh, VTEC didn't kick in, yo. So what happens is on this vehicle, it actually goes into a limp mode, and um, it goes from a, a rabbit to a turtle. It doesn't want to go. It just it it just it just pretty much idles and just does off idle. Because it does that on purpose because a limp mode is made so that it runs, but you can't really drive it around because the dealer wants you to get it fixed. They don't want you driving it like that. So it goes into a limp mode, so you, it barely goes over like a couple thousand RPMs. And she says, yeah, I'm driving down the freeway and now it won't go. And she got to a McDonald's parking lot and it idled fine. And it just it wouldn't go for be and as as soon as I cleared the codes when it got here I drove it around and it was fine. So that's telling me that it was working after I cleared the codes and drove it around. So it's got some sticky solenoid in it, so it just it doesn't want it doesn't want to engage once in a while. So I can't just let her take it like that because she'll go driving it around and it'll do it again someday. So you just replace it. And um, I'm just a guess, but these should be probably about 15 foot pounds. So I'm just kind of going in a circle and just giving them a little tweak. I just kind of get the feel for it. Try, you just got to try and real hard not to over tighten them. There. And that thing's in. It's really a fairly easy job, you know. So, that's the best view I could get of the thing. I kind of bungee corded these wires out of the way a little bit. So I can just plug all these wires back in and call it good. Plug in the oil pressure switch. Plug in the oil pressure switch. VTEC solenoid. And, uh... Put this thing in the hole. Don't want to stay. Done, done, easy peasy. My work is done here. Okay, bye.